Hello Legal Hustlers, in this video we will delve into the Information Technology Act, 2000, Key Provisions and Legal Framework Governing Digital Communication, Cybersecurity, Data Protection, and Electronic Transactions in India. Introduction The Information Technology Act, 2000 is an Indian legislation that governs electronic transactions and cybersecurity, it was enacted to provide legal recognition to electronic records and facilitates e-commerce in the country. The Act has been amended several times to keep up with technological advancements and address emerging challenges. Objectives The primary objective of the Information Technology Act 2000 is to provide legal infrastructure for a commerce and electronic governance. It aims to promote secure electronic transactions and protect the interests of consumers. The Act also seeks to prevent cybercrimes, address data protection concerns, and establish a framework for electronic signatures and digital certificates. Key provisions. The Act recognizes electronic records and digital signatures as legally valid and equivalent to paper-based documents and handwritten signatures. It provides legal recognition to electronic contracts and transactions, including online banking, e-commerce, and digital payments. The Act establishes provisions for the protection of personal data and privacy, including the ability to seek compensation for unauthorized access or disclosure of personal information. Cybercrime Offenses The Information Technology Act, 2000 defines various cybercrime offenses such as unauthorized access, computer, trespass, and hacking. It criminalizes the dissemination of obscene content, child, pornography, and cyberstalking. The Act also addresses offenses related to cyberterrorism identity theft, and fraud. Cybersecurity measures. The Act empowers the government to establish and regulate cybersecurity practices and procedures. It allows for the appointment of a controller of certifying authorities to regulate digital signatures and certificates. The Act also establishes provisions for the investigation and prosecution of cybercrimes, including the establishment of cyber appellate tribunals. Penalties and Compensation The Information Technology Act, 2000 prescribes penalties and punishments for various cybercrime offenses. Offenders can face imprisonment, fines, or both, depending on the severity of the offense. The Act also provides for the payment of compensation to victims of cybercrimes. Amendments The Act has been amended multiple times to address emerging challenges and incorporate international best practices. Amendments have been made to strengthen data protection, facilitate electronic governance, and enhance cybersecurity measures. Recent amendments have also focused on promoting digital payments and facilitating the growth of the digital economy. Criticisms and Challenges The Information Technology Act, 2000 has faced criticism for its broad and ambiguous language, which can lead to misuse and curtailment of freedom of speech. Challenges include the need for continuous updates to keep up with rapidly evolving technology and the emergence of new cyber threats. Balancing privacy concerns with the need for effective cybersecurity measures remain a challenge. Impact and importance. The Information Technology Act 2000 has played a crucial role in promoting e-commerce and digital transactions in India. It has provided legal recognition and protection to electronic records, contracts, and transactions, boosting consumer confidence. The Act has also helped in combating cybercrimes and ensuring a safer digital environment for individuals and businesses. Conclusion The Information Technology Act 2000 is a significant piece of legislation that has shaped India's digital landscape. It has provided the legal framework to enable electronic transactions, protect consumers, and combat cybercrimes. The Act continues to evolve and adapt to new challenges, ensuring the growth and security of India's digital economy. Thank you for watching. We're thrilled to have you here and hope that you find our content informative, engaging, and entertaining. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to join us for further updates.